when did you start doing wild shit like this like just smoking pcp probably when i was 21 21 okay so you so what were you doing before that i was just drinking a lot okay like every day after high school every i was just drinking like when i had a girlfriend at the time every friday with her okay we would both buy a 40 ounce of sure. old english or sure. mickey's big mouth mm -hmm. and we, we knew a store that sold to kids great so we would go there high school kids and yep. we would buy a two, two 40 ounces we'll walk to hollenbeck park and drink them and have sex in the park literally literally yeah <laughs> on a bench on the grass on the bench hurling on a tree fantastic yes good times great times the 90s the late 80s and 90s ladies and gentlemen you missed it because now i think about it because once what a scary type to be at at that age because right, right now i wouldn't do that i'm like 16 17 no I'm, I'm like 17 years old with another with a woman who's 16 and we're at this dark park that's controlled by a, a vicious gang <laughs> dirt street you know they pretty much chase anybody who doesn't you know what's funny it doesn't sound like a vicious gang third street there just third sounds street. like a decent group maybe it sounds like a restaurant honestly third but street they were uh was crips? The, what were they third street was uh like the where i lived was a, a gang that was mainly chicanos like they were all born here but they're all mexican they're chicano but that gang was mainly people who were from mexico they were like immigrant got sons it. of immigrant kids so they spoke more spanish they got they got bullied on by the other all the other gangs, so so they would chase everybody out of that park. But I'm now I'm think when I think about it now, man, I must have been fearless, you know, to have a girlfriend and a forty ouncer late at night walking around the park by myself with her. Yeah, it's not well. Yeah, that ain't you don't. First of all, your brain's not formed. <laughs> it literally is not formed, and you have so much testosterone that you'll there is no such thing as too risky. And you're to the point where it's like, all right, it sounds like a dare in a horror movie. Yes. Go fuck a 16 year old in a gang infested park <laughs> at night at and night. begin. And you, and you were, and, but it didn't, it was, and you did it repeatedly. Repeatedly. Every, Every Friday, Friday night. <laughs> and it wasn't, and how long you think you did it for? Till we broke up. For like a year? A year, yeah. Did you ever deal inter interface with the gang? Did they ever say, no. like, what are you doing here? I dealt with more gangs when I was hanging out with her in her porch. Because there was more gangs over there. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Where she lived, there was at least, there was three official gangs. And there was like four group of guys that hung out together. Like, <laughs> like there was this guy with long hair. Oh. Like, right, it's like at one point. Do you at what point do you become? Well, you know what? I think we're officially like a gang. one. Of the, there was a for sure. There was a crib gang, and then there was these two Mexican gang who didn't get along with each other. What do you think of gangs? As what did you think of them then, and what do you think of them now as an adult? Do you just think like, what are you guys doing, or do you understand it? Now I don't think um, I don't see that many gang bang members because they dress different and. Um, they stay home a lot because of TikTok, and they're mostly gangbanging on TikTok now. Just like insulting each other, insulting on TikTok? each other, or they get into a rap, they get into rap, and they start insulting each other, or <laughs> or an ex gang member starts a podcast, then he goes after another ex member that started a podcast. So they're doing their own thing, <laughs> yeah, yeah, at a different level now. It's violence by different yeah, means. So I don't live in a in a neighborhood where the gangs are anymore, so I don't see them. But I know people still get shot. I was in a gang where they had like rules not to smoke PCP. Okay. Because it was, it just, because then everybody smoked PCP, you become the PCP gang. Correct. Yeah. Everybody you walks want. over you. Uh -huh. And not to smoke crack either or, or, or primos or any, anything, but they only wanted you to do weed, mushrooms, acid, and beer. Okay. But I did everything else but that. <laughs> and, I was older than everybody, so I didn't, I didn't care for the rules. Yeah, they're not going to tell you what to so do. So one day, I don't know where, man, I get approached by like 10 people and they all jump me. The, from your gang? Yeah. Because you were smoking PC, because you broke the rules. Did you ever think like, this is, why be in a gang if you can't do drugs? That, that, was, what, that was what I was saying. Yeah, like a bunch of square ass motherfuckers. <laughs> 
what are the it's like the same thing the cop whose side are they on well a lot of the the homies were getting locked up for being on pcp okay and for being on crack being crack what hits. was the point of the gang were you, was it a business at that time i have no idea what was going on when so I you stopped, would just get together and do what by the time i stopped and i'm glad i did it became a business crack like it's more or, or more organized crack whatever yeah got it because when i was in my neighborhood when they were selling drugs it was like a free market so it, like you anybody who lived there could sell drugs but now it, you can't do that anymore it has to be the same it has to be the gang of that street of that corner got of it. that zip code it's all it's all it's been gentrified <laughs> Um, hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.